Hello YouTube, this is Yunki Light from Korea. Today I have a Genesis GB60, which is mid-size electric car of the Genesis. The Genesis say this is an SUV, but I think this is kind of the CUV, which is crossover utility vehicle. But in Korea they say this is an SUV. This car shares the same platform as the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and Kia EV6, but this car has a little bit shorter rebase, but be honest, I don't feel any difference. The space for the rear seat is huge. It is luxurious than the Ioniq 5. Let's take a look. The interior first. This car has a really white interior, including bronze package, which is looking good. Well, there is a cup holder over here, which is good. This car has a full flat floor. This is fully electric vehicle and this platform is built for the electric car. So there is no drivetrain around here. And of course, there are lots of cargo in the center console because there's nothing on it. So here's the, you know, the traditional engine car, the transmission and drivetrain goes over here. For the electric car, we just need a battery and motor, that's it. And of course, the battery is located under the floor, so we cannot see. This is a five-seater CUV, so it is good for family car use. Of course, there is a sun blocker over here, bang and offlucent speaker, which is optional one, but it is really great. And it has a heated sheet at the rear, and the AC vent goes over here. You know, the overall feeling of this car is just like Ionic, you know, the size of the car is same as the Ionic 5, so it is kind of expensive Ionic 5, but when you see the interior, this car has more leather and these are container things. And let's check the trunk. Trunk handle is over here. Well, the size of the trunk is not that bad and this car has a roof line like a fastback so there's not many cargo like on traditional SUV but it is enough space for daily or family car this car is not a small car so the trunk space is just normal let's see what is under the hood this is one bad thing about the Hyundai Genesis Kia electric car to open the front trunk you need to do the traditional thing Well, oh, since this is a RWD car, not a four-wheel drive, this car has a Eno cargo, the cargo space, I like it. And this is the digital camera side meter, which is cool. If I fold it, the monitor is off, and if I flip it, it works. The location of the monitor is same as the Ionic 5. There are lots of the circle things, even the door handle, the this one, the speaker. The gear shift is like this, which is really future something. But if I start, it moves. Which is kind of cool gear selector. This is something like iDrive thing, but it is a Hyundai Drive. Let's take a drive. Turn slide right on the second. And the cool thing about this car is it has a three different artificial electrical sound. And of course for the ride comfort compared to Hyundai Ioniq 5. I have reviewed the Ioniq 5 and 6 before. This car is more silent, it is more quiet. The packaging is almost similar to Ioniq 5, but this car has better materials on it. And recently I have reviewed the GP70 SUV with the electric one. Overall driving balance, I think this car has a better driving balance. Of course, the GB70 electric one has more power and that is faster than this car.
This is a rear wheel drive version and the four wheel drive has a better performance but this is fast enough. As you can hear, the artificial sound of this car is fun enough and I'm sorry about the navigation sound, I cannot find how to volume down. It is English, so just please enjoy. And let's take a drive on the highway. Let's go with the sports mode and full throttle. The acceleration of this car is pretty cool. This is not really fast much as the Tesla's performance one or Porsche Taycan. But this Genesis electric car I think four-wheel drive one has a better performance, but this rear-wheel drive Genesis GV60, I think this is fast enough for just normal driving. Of course, this car is not built for the track, so for the road, this car has enough power and the brake performance is not that bad. Let me change it to the another sound and let's go with the G engine sound. I just change it. The G engine sound is more like the engine sound. So let me do sports mode and full throttle again to hear the sound. Let's go. Before I test drive and review this car, I thought this car is just expensive version of the Hyundai Ioniq 5, but I have reviewed and ride both car. And the characteristic of two car is totally different. Ioniq 5 it is more like efficient electric car feeling, but this Genesis GB60 this car is luxurious enough so that this car can get a Genesis badge on it. For example, the leather of the steering wheel it is softer and the overall emotional feeling of this car is totally different from the Ioniq 5. Ioniq 5 or Ioniq 6, that car contains recycled material like plastic one. In sum, this is a luxurious Hyundai Ioniq 5 which has better leather and softer ride comfort and everything is just like Genesis quality. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel and I'm on the way to return the car. Today I test drive from the Genesis dealer and I borrowed about uh, one hour. That's why today's review is a little bit short and the information is not enough but next time I will get a long term review with enough information. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel and please leave a comment and subscribe and here's more my video you may like. Thank you. Happy New Year.